everyone, it's Ann with What's Up Homestead, and I thought I would bring you a quick and easy appetizer for maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas. It's always been a crowd pleaser when I bring it to, when I used to work, I would bring it to work, and everyone loved them and always wanted me to bring it. So, I'm going to show you how to make some crab rangoons, and they're not the really sweet ones like you get at the Chinese restaurant, but they're savory but they're really delicious. They're not just for holidays, they're for any kind of potluck or any kind, anytime you want a quick snack. They're really fast and easy and you can, you can make them any kind of way you want. You can leave out the onions if you want. You can put in soy sauce. You can put in the Worcestershire sauce or anything that you want to do with it. It's very easy and quick and I'll turn you around and show you how I assemble them. And these are the only four ingredients I use. And I've got an onion. I probably won't use all that onion, probably a half of an onion. I'll use a whole block of cream cheese. I'll use some egg roll wrappers and some crab classic. And I'll just chop that up and with the onion and the cream cheese. And I usually use just my KitchenAid mixer. And then I'll chop up my onions and put it in there and I'll show you how I wrap them up too. I didn't use my KitchenAid mixer because something is wrong with it. So I just cut up the Crab Classic, it's leg style, and I just chopped it into smaller pieces. Now I'm going to add my cream cheese in there. Okay, I've got my one container of Crab Classic imitation crab, which you can use regular crab meat in the can if you want. I used um, one block of cream cheese and I cut that much off the onion, it measured at one half of a cup. So I've got all that in there and I'm going to mix it up. How, I don't know because I don't have my mixer, but I'm going to probably mix it up with a fork. You want the cream cheese to set out for a little while and get soft. And that way it'll make it easier to stir. This is working a lot better than I thought it would but I'm used to my KitchenAid mixer but when I go over there and look at it it's got oil dripping off of it and I know I changed the oil last time when my husband did so I don't know why it's doing that but I'm just going to stir this around until it gets fully mixed and combined. I'm also going to put just a couple dashes of soy sauce. I've seen other recipes and they use Worcestershire sauce, but I don't like that in this. So I'm just going to use the soy sauce. Well, I have liquid aminos, but it's just a soy sauce alternative. So you can use that or you can use soy sauce. Okay, so it's all mixed together and I will get everything prepped and I'll show you the next step. And I like to buy the egg roll wrappers instead of the wonton wrappers because you get more out of it. It's more, um, it's more ounces in the egg roll wrappers. And all I do is cut them into fours, just like the egg roll wrappers. And you just get more out of it. These containers are very awkward to open. But once you get them out, just lay them down and just come. Sometimes I don't get them all the way in the middle, but that's fine. Just cut through this way. You can turn around and get in the middle. Now, these are not exactly straight, but they're close. And now you have more than you get with the other size with the wonton wrapper so I want to make um, a Philly cheese steak roll up we had one at a restaurant the other week and they were really good so that's what I'm going to use with this later and you also want to keep these covered up with a wet towel because they dry out really easily but I'm just going to go ahead and show you six of them right now I just lay them all out on the tray. 
get my filling and you just want very small amount on there and I just use my fingers and I just kind of get a small little dollop put it on there and believe me when I would take these to work I would have to be there at about 7 30 and I would have to make these ahead of time so my husband and I would get up at like 6 in the morning and do these in about 15 minutes so I could go ahead and cook them and take them so it's not it's not very hard okay let me wash my hands and I'll show you the rest okay. I've got a little bowl of water right there that I'm gonna dip my fingers in so let me dry my hands off I'm going to go around the edges of them one at a time and then I'll pick it up and I like to fold mine different I like to come in in two corners that way and two corners this way and that way it seals it up completely and you don't want to fill it too full because they will spew out so mine just like it looks like a little book so I'll show you again just dip my finger in there and I'll just 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 get all the water just around the edges and that's it and then I pick it up with my filling just come in with both sides this way and kind of just stick them together and that's gonna be like glue you just have like a little box a little like that so let me do one more kind of pick it up and show you I'll just take the water and just go around the edges not too much but not uh, you don't want just a tiny bit either so two ends this way and make sure you do it tight just a little tight okay let me get done with these and I'll show you the next step okay those are ready and I've got my oil here I've just got vegetable oil and I've got it on like a seven and it, you want it to sizzle when they go in there so that's that looks pretty good and everything is already cooked all you're wanting to do is to make sure the wontons don't burn so I would probably say a minute but just watch them very closely and don't let them get really brown so just make sure that you kind of flip them over a little bit so they'll get brown on both sides but this goes very very fast and I'm having surgery tomorrow so I don't get to eat any of these I just get to smell them because I'm on a liquid diet right now and it's torture these are my favorite so my husband will get to enjoy them but I'll have to wait till tomorrow okay so these are almost ready I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off they can go a little bit further but not much I would say five more seconds got some paper towels right here on my cutting board get the things out. and what I'm gonna do is let my husband he can eat those and then I'll save the the filling so tomorrow I can make more I don't want to make them up now but I'm next time I'm going to try and put them in the air fryer and see how they do that way it would be a little bit less fat but that's how I make crab rangoons and I hope you try it because you will fall in love and you will make these for every party you go to I promise so this is Ann from what's up homestead and I hope it helped